Hi, everyone. I'm Sally Eves. It's great to be back again with Tim. Tim Crawford, welcome to the show again, Tim. It's lovely to speak to you. Hey, Sally. Great to see you again, as always. Fantastic. So I'd love to dive back into all things SAP Build. And I think one of the places I'd love to go is to talk about one of the key kind of value propositions here, which is accelerating time to value. What was your take on this and how it's being enabled? You know, time to value is an incredibly important aspect for companies today, more so than ever. I mean, if we look at what's taken place in the last 30 plus months, um, we don't have to look very far to see the importance of time to value, whether it's regarding employees, whether it's regarding supply chains, or even the customer experience. I mean, customers are changing. We are changing in terms of how we work with companies, how we buy from companies, how we sell to companies. And so our systems have to change too. And so how you're able to bring innovation to the forefront and do that in a timely fashion is incredibly important. And that couldn't be more important for customers of SAP that historically might have felt that it, it's taken a long time for IT to be able to, to move. And there are some real reasons for that. But I think when you look at Build, what it really does is it opens the opportunity massively for both IT as well as business users to actually create and change applications on a moment's notice. They're able to bring that value to the customer, to the employee, internally, um, whatever it might be, in a very quick and easy way without having to go through a very long and exhaustive process. And so it's a nice way to automate but also open up the door to innovation in ways that we could never do before. And so I think that's a huge step with Build specifically, and especially on the heels of uh, BTP, the larger BTP portfolio Absolutely. of services. But Sally, I'd love to get your thoughts from TechEd too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, time to value, you're absolutely spot on. I think it's encapsulating the changing expectations and behaviors, whether you're a consumer, ecosystem partner, employee, et cetera, et cetera. It really is tapping into that. And it's bringing, as you said, that automation, that agility, but also the alignment. You know, I think we've talked about business and IT alignment for, for a number of years. You know, it's, there's always been some challenges there. And this is something that's really tangible in terms of bringing out together and negating points of friction. So I'm really excited about kind of the common platform, the common languages is going to enable. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to bring to the fore here too is the fact that this isn't just about a technological solution. This is about culture. It's about shared responsibility and shared ownership for solution development. And it's also about the education and the enablement to, to bring all these benefits to bear. So things like the SAB Builders Program that was announced as well. You know, we've seen already just this year, we've got at least a million um, shortage of developers. It's anticipated to go to about four million in three years time. So we can't, you know, education, traditional universities, other establishments at the moment can't really keep pace with that need. So the fact that this builders program is really supporting that head on, we've got that technology and education working together hand in hand, addressing a need, but also creating an incredible opportunity with this new capacity to be agile to innovation you know, from different roles within the organization and bringing that together. So I am truly excited because I think this is a very tangible um, demonstration of what can be done. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a game changer. I really believe that so for me i wanted to mention that program because it really is i think the kind of the icing on the cake so to speak in terms of what this can deliver yeah no you're absolutely right sally and i think you know the builders program as well as the partnership that they announced with coursera and then on top of it just looking at what build is in terms mm -hmm. of the being able to create the workflows and the drag and drop capability of changing workflows that opens the door to other developers that aren't necessarily professional developers. And as you mentioned, we we do have that constraint on professional developers today, but any way we can alleviate that is a boon for enterprises. And customers are demanding it. They're not necessarily demanding it directly and saying, hey, you need more developers, but what they are demanding is change and rapid change and rapid adaption to what they are needing and what they're asking for. And so I think as you go through time, we'll start to see some of this automation and some of this um, capability become more commonplace uh, within organizations. It doesn't remove the need for the professional developer. There's still that need. But what it does do is it opens the door to folks that might be coming from other careers too. They might be coming from non-IT or non-business functions and be stepping into 
a technology role and so or a business role. And so this allows them to understand how the business operates and yet make change that affects the business in a demonstrable way without having to go through all of the trials and tribulations that we've been challenged with in the past. Absolutely. And so I think the combination of all of that is going to be incredibly powerful and build sits right at the center of it. I, I couldn't agree more. And I'm going to throw in one more final thought on that one around ESG. In particular, we've got obviously so much more attention to that, which is, you know, personally music to my ears. I think it's so, so important. Um, but to help organizations go from just being more transparent, although a great step in the right direction, but to be truly committed and accountable around that expertise in the ESG area coming in is particularly important, particularly when we look at the measurement side of things as well. So that ability to have expert users who are, you know, for example, from a sustainability specialism, bringing them in, I think that's going to be key to how we develop things like, for example, integrated dashboarding and better reporting um, that brings consistency um, so that people can really truly understand and compare what's happening. So I just want to come back on that yeah. point. Is that it's a really developing area as well. And I think, again, build sits right in the middle in enabling it's kind of this catalyst to enable all these different benefits to occur so i'm super excited about that too absolutely you know and esg is important and when you think about the de decreasing the time to value and accelerating innovation you know whether it's esg or even regulatory compliance and governance um and privacy that's an ever-changing space both uh, both aspects whether it's esg or regulatory compliance and privacy all of it is changing at a very, very rapid place, uh, pace. And so being able to change applications as needed to be able to accommodate and take advantage of those changes um, is going to be really important for enterprises as well. It's not going to be good enough to say, well, this change happened and 24 months from now, we're going to implement the change. We're going to need to be able to respond to those much quickly, much more quickly. And I think customers are going to demand it as much as employees and partners and ecosystem players. Absolutely. So I, I think for everybody listening, well, possibly you heard it here first about this hub of the wheel kind of approach. I'm going to go for that as my metaphor today. But we've got the metaphor of bringing business and IT together. But equally, we've got how Bill sits right in the middle for innovation that's agile and real time, you know, respect, you know, whether it's security and privacy, as you were talking about, Tim, or ESG developments, as I was mentioning earlier, so many other opportunities as well. It's helping you to hopefully get ahead of, of those, um, whether it's a challenge or an opportunity to seize that and really deal with it in the best way possible. So I'm excited yeah. about where we're heading. Tim, thank you for joining us again today. It's been a pleasure to talk through. Great to see you as always, Sally. Looking forward to our next chat. Thank you very much. And thank you all for joining us too.